Okay, that was the best one. Actually, know some of these, yay. Never mind, take it back. So, we are heading back to the 80s today to see if you recognize some music. Oh. Gosh, I always don't do the best at these. I honestly have no real frame of reference of what is 80s until I hear a song that I'm familiar with and I'm like, oh, okay, so that kind of era. When I started on the show, I had no 80s knowledge, but now I've been in so many 80s episodes and I've read so many comments of like suggestions for next songs. I've been doing research, like I'm getting ahead of the game. Even though I wasn't exposed to the stuff, I do get exposed to it here, which is really interesting and you know, I feel less of a dumbass when I come here. Now I'm scared, I'm like, oh, what if I don't know it? I don't know why, but I, I like 70s and 90s, and the 80s is just kind of a blur, but we'll see how it goes. Ah, okay, I know this song. This reminds me of Shrek. I think it was in Shrek. <laughs> I definitely heard the song a lot when I was younger. God, what a good just like rock out song. Do you know this one? Okay, I don't know the artist, but I'm pretty sure the name of the song is called Bad Reputation. Uh, Reputation? Is it Pat Benatar? Bad Reputation by Mmm, ACDC? Bad Reputation is the name of the song, and I think it's by Joan Jett. So this is called Bad Reputation. It's by Joan Jett. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that right. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna jet on out of here then. She has like a very unique voice. It was like one of the like very first raspy like female singers that I've ever heard. So Joan would consider this her signature song, but most people remember her for I Love Rock and Roll. Oh, that's her? Yes! Okay, I totally can hear like the connection in my mind now. I jammed to this song. This is like one of my favorite songs to play through on Rock Band. This is my shit. I'm trying to think of what it is. This is like the cheesy song they use in all the workout scenes. Of the Tiger. So good. Oh, it's the one song that must always be played anytime there's a montage happening. All right, do you know this one? Okay, it's called Eye of the Tiger, but I don't know who it's by. Eye of the Tiger, I don't know the band. Eye of the Tiger by, what is the name of the band though? This is Eye of the Tiger and it's by Survivor. Oh, I would never have guessed Survivor. I'm so ashamed. According to Billboard, this was the number one song of 1982. Yeah, it's still like a, I feel like a number one song to a lot of people. It's a great song, so I'm not surprised. Oh, I know I know this song. This is my kind of music. Do you know what I gotta say? Shout out Guitar Hero for teaching me all these songs as a kid. Okay, I know what it is. There we go, there we go. That's all I needed. Oh no! Crap, I'm gonna have to name a random band again, aren't I? Do you know this one? I know, okay, it's Sweet Child of Mine. And is it by Aerosmith? Sweet Child of Mine. I wanna say ACDC? Sweet Child of Mine by Kiss. Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. That's Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Yeah, it's Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. This is Sweet Child of Mine, and it's by Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses! Ugh! I'm so ashamed I didn't know that. Why did I confuse it? I had it! Axl Rose and all them boys! Fuck! Actually know some of these, yay. Never mind, I take it back. I can picture the 80s girls in neon workout stuff doing like Pilates to this. There's Zumba or something. I'm trying to figure out whose voice this is. I don't think it sounds.
That's that's like new to me. Do you know this one? Is it called Ooh Yeah? I have no idea who this is though. I know I've never heard the song, and I have no idea who the artist is. The only name that comes to my mind is Janet Jackson. I've never heard the song before. Well, I have no idea what it's called, but I think it's by Janet Jackson. This is What Have You Done For Me Lately. It's by Janet Jackson. Oh, okay. I didn't listen to a lot of Janet Jackson, so that was like totally lost on me. She is like the leading lady of 80s music. So popular too. I'm just waiting for this drum solo. I just wanted to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is it dumb if I say that it sounds like Phil Collins, who wrote the Tarzan soundtrack and stuff? Mm, it's just like bringing back such like sweet memories. Oh, but I wanted the the thing, you know. Come on, that's the best part. You know this one? No, I don't know. It reminds me of Phil Collins, but that's because I've been listening to a lot of Disney music. Calling in the Air by Phil Collins? Is it In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins, final answer? In the Air Tonight, Phil Collins. I'm happy, I got one. It's called In the Air Tonight, and it's by Phil Collins. Is it really? <laughs> I got the Phil Collins part. I recognize, I'm like, oh, sounds like Tarzan. Phil Collins is one of only three recording artists, along with Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson, to have sold over 100 million albums globally, both as part of a band and solo. That's so cool. I would never have thought to put him in the same category as those two, other two. That takes some talent, some skill. That's just, that's amazing. Such a like feel good song. The song sounds familiar. Yep, that's why. Okay. Hit me with your best shot. Who sings it? Mm, okay. <laughs> this is like a girl anthem for me. This had to have been one of the most popular songs from the 80s. I don't know many women musicians from the 80s and I feel bad. Do you know this one? Uh, it's Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Artist. Don't know. It's Hit Me With Your Best Shot, but I don't know the artist. So that was Hit Me With Your Best Shot. I do not know the artist. Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Is this Cindy Lauper? Hit Me With Your Best Shot by Pat Benatar. It's Hit Me With Your Best Shot by Pat Benatar. This is Hit Me With Your Best Shot, and it's by Pat Benatar. Pat Benatar, I never would have guessed that. I don't know if like younger kids would know it, but a lot of people my age, my generation, still recognize that song. What the f is this? This song is also super familiar. Get his voice like that the whole time. I like this a lot. <laughs> okay, that was the best one. Do you know it? I mean, I guess I know it. I've heard it, but I can't. I really can't give you a solid guess on who it is. I do not. Is it Michael Jackson? I don't know the title of the song. This is Prince. This is Kiss by Prince. Ah, oh, Prince is my weakness. I have such a gap in knowledge when it comes to Prince. So Prince believed that there are no accidents, and if there are, it's up to us to look at them as something else. What do you think about that? I think that's a very positive outlook on life. I agree with that. People make mistakes, but that's how you grow as a person. When I sit down and like s listen to these, I realize like, wow, the 80s had some bangers. Thanks for watching Do They Know It on the React channel. Don't forget to subscribe because we have new shows every day. Well, what's your favorite 80s song? Let us know in the comments. This is What's up guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for checking out this 80s episode with us today. If you don't want a bad reputation, hit that like button.